Uh, if any of you have uh, followed me on any of my other lathe videos, you knew that my lathe was quite junky. Uh, the cover was off, gears exposed, and the bed was full of gears. Uh, I've done a little bit of pickup, clean up, uh, a little bit of organization. Uh, I have mounted my gears down here up under the, the workbench. I got the cover back on. I'm not sure how long it's going to stay on because I'm always reaching over, turning the spindle back here and, and uh, changing the gears for one thing or another. I need to change it right now. My lead screw needs to turn slower. It's always need to be open. Uh, right now I'm going to tackle a problem from the start. And that is the compound. The compound has no T-slot. Uh, I like this two post. I don't want to lose the ability to use this two post. A lot of people do not like it uh, because you have to shim to get the two piece located in the right position to the right height. Uh, I don't find that a problem because I use mostly the same type tools. For instance, half inch tools are almost perfect in here and it just require a very light shim under the bottom and I use the same shim for all my half inch tools and uh, it's not a biggie. I have some special made little uh, pieces made out of aluminum with V's cut in them to put the round uh, boring tools in. I have some other tools that are uh, made out of aluminum with grooves cut in them where I can place small uh, diameter high speed tools that I have bought from places like Harbor Freight that are cheap. Uh, you know, I'm adapting, but I like this tool post. Uh, unlike other people that do not like it so much, I do. I like it and I don't want to give it up, so I'm going to keep it. However, I have a quick change tool post. I bought this before I ever got delayed, which right now this is uh, the first day of October, and I've had this laid for about a month. So I'm still in the learning phases. You know, I watched a lot of videos from Mr. Pete. I watched a lot of videos from a lot of other people, especially on how to adapt this type of two post to the quick change two post. And there are some different ways of going about it. Um, I'm following pretty much a standard way. I, I call it a standard way. Let's see. If uh, you make another uh, screw to replace that one. It goes down over here. There's a stud that sticks up that has a bushing on it. And I'm going to cut the bushing off, drive the stud out, cut the bushing off, make it flat. I don't have a milling machine, so I'll cut it down close with the uh, hand grinder with a cutting tool. And then I will use a file to bring it down flush with the top. Uh, that's about the best I can do without a milling machine. But I, I will do it very close. It should not make any difference. I have already threaded. My camera doesn't show threads very well. I have already threaded this to match the piece that came with the uh, quick change tool post. And... I have bored out the bottom up far enough to cover the uh, nine threaded stud part of the uh, screw that sticks up and now I have drilled the correct size hole and threaded internally to match the threaded part of the two post. As a matter of fact this has already been done I'm just now making the video to actually show how I did it. 
this tool post I can still use you don't see the bushing on here I have already cut the bushing off and ground flat this is the stud that sticks up get out of there okay uh, hang on a second while I knock that out this is the replacement bushing that I made cut to the right height the old bushing was made on to the uh, compound, near as I can tell, it was made on there. I, I couldn't get it out, and it certainly doesn't appear to be any seam up under there when I cut it off and ground it smooth. So I made a replacement bushing that's just like the one that came off, except for this one will come off. So I can drop it back on this post and put my old four way back on. Okay. So I still have use of my four-way and where did I put it? Uh -huh. Okay, but now by using this adapter it can slide up over this two post and screw down all the way. Mine gets a little tight right at the very bottom. Uh, yeah, it's probably good. And I'm going to screw it all the way. I actually have to put the channel locks on it for the last, last few little threads. It's not really terribly tight, but it needs to be snugged down. It's all the way down to the bottom. And the four-way two post goes on. There is a problem with the little indexer pin here. I, I have to take that out. It doesn't. It doesn't have the right uh, indexing. It gets caught in the uh, the notches here for these sliding bars. So that has to be removed. No biggie. Little screw there. Put your finger over it. Keep the spring from flying out. But basically, put this over here and. Tighten it down with a nut. My tool post was actually a uh, outside diameter that was metric. This 14 millimeter stud, but it was not 1.5 threads. It was actually 18 threads per inch. It was imperial threads. Uh, Okay, as you can see, this works really good. So now I have adapted my well, my quick change two post to fit on this uh, compound, and that was how I did it. That's not the only way. Uh, I've seen other ways on the internet where they actually drill that bushing out and put this stud all the way in or they ground the head down which would probably be a better alternative it would be stronger they used a bolt and ground the head down around and pressed it in from the bottom yeah that's stronger but again I don't want to use lose the ability to use my four-way two post. I like it. I'm go ahead and pull this back off. So that is how I solve my problem with the two post. I want to put this one back on because I want to use it. So now I have the ability to use whichever two post that I want. Okay, so that problem was done. Uh, one thing I do want to mention. When I was uh, searching around for ways to, 
to fix this tool post I noticed some video where people were complaining about this arm being over the workpiece when you tighten it down well when I put my tool piece on here and I tighten mine down well yeah this arm comes right on over here to this side and one of the first thoughts that I had was I'm going to I don't like that. I don't like it being over here on on this side on the uh, facing the chuck. This is in the way. Uh, but I noticed, well, the first thing I thought was to drill a hole here on the back side and re-thread it. But then I remembered that this thing has a worm gear on the inside. So I I took it off and turned it upside down and spun this around to these little slides here popped up and uh, I spun it around to both of them popped up and then I let it click one time and then I screwed it back down again and now that seems to have solved my problem because now when I tighten it down it's over here on this back side so sometimes when they put these things together it's in the wrong thread of the worm but if you can jump it a thread, then it will still work the same way, but it will be here on the back side. But you have to start these slides at the right time. Of course, they'll be out of sync and want to be sticking up and want to be flush. But that's not a biggie. I just thought I'd throw that two cents worth in there. But that's how I solved the problem. I borrowed a little bit from other people that has solved theirs. And... Uh, created my own way. Alright, y'all have a good one.